again everybody, Boyd here with you and welcome. Well this video today is going to introduce two brand new boards that I have in my Trekworks Signature Series line of sound and lighting boards for model kits. Uh, on the left here we have the Space 1999 Eagle board and on the right we have the Submarine Seaview board from the classic Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea television show. Uh, our Space 1999 Eagle board is a light and sound board and our Seaview board over here is a sound only board. Both of these boards uh, have five different sounds, all original sounds from the original shows. And uh, I'll explain the Space 1999 Eagle board first here. We first have the sound of the opening uh, theme music from the original television show, Season 1. And then we have the sound of the Eagle powering up and launching. And the uh, third sound on the board is the Eagle cruising in cruise mode, the kind of hovering cruising sound that it made. Uh, the fourth sound is the sound of the Eagle coming in for a landing. And the fifth sound is the sound of the eagle firing its lasers and blowing some stuff up. So it's pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned, the eagle board here has a uh, lighting uh, option on this as well. We, we're going to include this little switch here so that uh, you can get your lighting effects on your engines when, the, uh, when we hear the engine start up and lift off the cruising and the landing. You'll actually get three 5mm uh, blue LEDs with this so that it'll, it'll work on your uh, three engine exhaust cones of your eagle. Uh, if you're building a different type of eagle, there might be more or less cones on that. Just let me know and I'll, I'll no extra charge, I'll include an extra LED or whatever you want to do there. But uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate this one first. We're going to play the uh, opening uh, theme music from Space 1999 on the first button here. So here we go with that one. Okay, so there you go, the opening theme sound. Now we're going to be getting into our engine uh, noises, so we're going to turn on this little switch here that I'll include, and now you'll notice that we're going to get a light-up effect to go along with our sounds here with this uh, blue LED. And like I said, you'll get three of these, and you can light all three of them up at the same time, or four if there's an eagle out there that has four engine outputs. I can't remember for sure, but here we go. Engine liftoff. Pretty cool, huh, guys? You know, you even get the kind of flickering effect as the engine changes pitch and everything there. Okay, the second one here is the uh, cruising mode. Once they're, uh, they've lifted off and they're kind of cruising, it had a very unique sound. We've got that right off of the television show, so here you go with that one. Oops, I hit the wrong button, guys. Here's the cruising sound. Sorry about that. This is button number three. Okay, so then we're going to go to uh, number four here, which is the sound of the eagle coming in for a landing. Here we go with that. Pretty sweet, huh? 
Okay, then we'll turn this button off because we don't want our lights to come on anymore. And now we're going to play the final sound, which is the sound of the eagle firing its lasers and just blowing up various stuff. So here we go with that one. And you guys have watched Space 1999, you'll know that those, are, that those are the exact sounds from the show. Okay, guys, so that was a look at the uh, 1999 board. This board will be $35 just the way it is. You'll get, like I said, either three or four LEDs. You'll get the switch, and it'll be all set up and ready to run. And you can uh, change the configuration of this. Like I've talked about before, you can replace these momentary switches with ones that you choose. You can uh, take the speaker off of the backing here, the board off of the backing. You can mount that in a uh, base, or this would probably, this whole thing would probably fit inside the cargo carrier of the, uh, even the small um, uh, MPC Eagle kit that's out there. But the big 22 inch kit's coming out here fairly soon, so this would be great for that. Okay, guys, I'm going to switch my power supply over here now, and we're going to go over to the uh, uh, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea Sea View board. As you can see, I'm powering these at 9 volts. These will operate anywhere between 6 to 12 volts DC. So you've got a, a nice wide range of uh, voltage inputs that you can uh, use for, depending on however you've got your power supply coming in. If you're just using a 9 volt battery or if you've got a wall wart, anywhere from 6 to 12 volts, that'll work great. Now let me get this propped up here. I've got this underneath of the speaker here so you can hear it a little bit better. And like I've mentioned before, guys, these are sound a lot better, way better once you mount them inside of an enclosure of some kind. And they'll get a lot more tone to them. Okay, we're going to start off first with the uh, classic Jerry Goldsmith opening and closing theme music from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Season 1. Here we go, guys. Oh, I don't have any power here. i got to hook up my power a little bit better here. I guess I didn't get it hooked up good. Try that again. Okay, pretty cool. I always love that beautiful Jerry Goldsmith theme. One of the best uh, theme songs for a television show ever. Okay, guys, the second song we're going to play is the uh, ambient sound of the control room that we are all familiar with from the submarine sea view. If you watch the show, we've got our kind of sonar ping in the background and all the other control functions going on. Let's hear that one. Okay, and then we've got the order to dive, dive, dive that we heard all the time when they were going into action. Here we go with that one. That's button number three. Okay, they're submerging. All right, so that's pretty cool. And then the final one that we have here, or actually the fourth one we have on this one, is the familiar sonar ping that we heard when the CV would do its uh, underwater flyby shots when it was submerged. And I've got a nice long uh, track on this one so you could play this when your model is on display showing your friends and all that. So let's play that one.
as you can see that one plays a long time and kind of compare that one there are a couple of soundboards that are out there now but they're kind of quiet and they're not very easy to hear and um, it's uh, got some kind of interference noise in the background that they got from a different uh, track I uh, did a lot of work to get the exact sonar ping on this one and make it last a long time and it's uh, crystal clear and it's nice and loud okay guys from the uh, last button here which is number five that's gonna be Captain Crane giving the order to send a charge through the hull and get rid of that big monster that's trying to crush us. Here we go with that one, guys. Okay, guys, that was pretty cool. They used to do that all the time during the show. And our submarine sea view board here, guys, like I mentioned, is a sound only board. And that one will be uh, $25. So if you're interested in these, you can contact me as usual at info at trekworks.net. I'm working on several other boards at the moment. I'm doing one for both the original and the reimagined uh, Battlestar Galactica, the uh, Battlestar itself, and then working on one for the Cylon Raider uh, for both uh, the classic and original, and uh, also the Viper from the classic and the original. And I'll be coming out with those very soon. So. If you guys are interested in those, you can contact me as well. And again, I'll mention that if there's something custom out there that you want, particular uh, sound effects from, a, from a, a favorite show of yours or a favorite vehicle, ship, car, something like that, uh, just contact me and I'll see what I can put together for you. So uh, I'll be glad to help you out with that, guys. So and uh, again, the price will be very, very affordable on these. And again, thanks so much for supporting this program. We really appreciate it. It's helping me out a lot here in the shop with everything that I'm doing. And we've had a great response to it so far. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care and happy modeling, everyone.